American Air Gunner is sponsored by Pyramid Air. Air guns are not just for kids anymore. Umarex, your premium air gun supplier. And these fine sponsors. Okay, camera's rolling. Well, Crystal, the cameraman tells us that the cameras are rolling and they're pointed in our general direction once again. That can only mean one thing. We're back for our second season. Welcome, folks, to American Air Gunner. We have an exciting new season for you. We've got plenty of great stuff to show you about the world of air guns. We've got some new faces and some familiar faces like Eric Henderson, our big bore air gun hunter. He's going to be going all over the country shooting big game with air guns. It's going to be very cool. We've also got world field target champion Paul Cray to tell us all about shooting field target. And uh, have you met Paul yet? I haven't. Yeah, he's a wonderful fellow. And uh, he's going to be telling us all about this highly competitive sport. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, Crystal, I understand you're finally finished with college. That's right, Paul. I actually just graduated from Ithaca College with a degree in television production. So. Television production? I know. Does that mean you're going to be pulling your weight around here? Oh, you know it. Crystal joined us last season around the seventh or eighth episode. So she hasn't seen us from our very burly beginnings here. So we're going to expect her to pull her weight and use all that knowledge that she gained in college <laughs> about television production because we're a tough studio here and we do all things in-house. But uh, speaking of Paul Cray, he was with us a couple of weeks ago and he's here to tell you folks all about the basics of shooting field target. Let's go check out that tape. Hey folks, my name is Paul Cray for American Air Gunner and I'm here today to talk to you about the fantastic sport of field target. Field target is a hunting simulation sport, it takes place outdoors, in the woods, in open fields, wherever you can get some good spots to shoot. It's shot at ranges from between 10 and 55 yards and it's primarily shot with air rifles. At the very top end of the game, we have this Star LG-110. It is a pre-charged pneumatic. It is an Olympic grade match rifle. It has a match grade trigger, match grade barrel, very adjustable, very, very accurate and it's considered one of the best rifles in its class. We also shoot pistol class, and this example is a Crossman CO2 pistol, and this division is growing in popularity. This example is highly customized, it has a stainless steel barrel and air tube. Very accurate, very inexpensive piece of equipment, but a lot of fun to shoot. We also shoot CO2 rifle. This example is a very inexpensive rifle, very, very accurate, and more than capable of shooting field target. The oldest division is a spring piston, and this is a classic example of a spring piston rifle. It's an RWS 48, and I started off shooting field target with something very similar to this. It's a difficult division to shoot in. These rifles are very temperamental, but once mastered, if you master one of these, you will be a very good shot indeed, and this, this is a fine example. This is an example of what we shoot at. It's an animal silhouette. This example is a ram and they have what we call a kill zone and the object of the game is to shoot your pellet cleanly through the kill zone, it hits the paddle and the target will fall over and that's considered a scoring shot. If you miss the kill zone, you will hit the face plate and the target will not go down and that's considered a miss. Today we've just scratched the surface of field target shooting. In future episodes of American Air Gunner, I'm gonna be explaining how to pick out a rifle, how to set up your rifle, how to pick out a scope and how to set that scope up. But in the meantime, if you want to find out more about the sport, contact AFTA.org. That's A-A-F-T-A. -A I'm Paul Cray for American Air Gunner. This is the morning of November 16th, 2009. As you can see, it's snowing. We're in northwest Missouri, it's north of Kansas City, and uh, it's cold and it's wet. It started out raining this morning and then it turned to snow. Uh, I'm at my friend Brian Cook's house for hunting on his property. First 
day up here in Missouri. It uh, started raining this morning and uh, turned to snow, a lot of snow on the ground. And now it's raining again. We're up on this hill. The, uh, the wind is to our face. So it's blowing behind us. We got about a 150 yard view down here. This is the second morning, northern Missouri. It's raining this morning. There's no, uh, there's no snow. There's a little snow on the ground, but it's not snowing. But, uh, sit and wait. Gamma, I'm busy. I drank all this soda. I was thirsty. Hey, wait, Ma, can you do me a favor? Can you pick up some more soda? Okay, thanks. Awesome. Air Force air guns, serious air guns for the serious shooter. Ow, ow, ow. Deer hunting in northern Missouri. That was a nice eight pointer. That was about a 50 yard shot from the looks of the way that he got hit. It was right in the shoulder, right, or right behind the shoulder. Where he was aiming. Up good. 909S from Pyramid Air. Uh, Leaper scope from uh, Pyramid Air. All right. He gave it a little bit. Shot him right down here. He went back down this way. Let's go down for some blood. Look at that! Oh yeah! Yeah, baby! Ha! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a legal deer. Eric Henderson with American Air Gunner. Just shot this really nice eight point Missouri whitetail with the 909S from Pyramid Air. You know folks, if you talk to a hardcore air gun enthusiast about their hobby, the first thing they're gonna tell you is that it's not a hobby, it's an obsession. And there's no end to the lengths that people will go to to make their air guns shoot better and look good doing it. Now for as long as air guns have been mass produced, there have been people modifying and tinkering with them. Some of these folks went on to become very gifted air gun artisans and their work is exemplary. Now before we get into the nitty gritty, I have to tell you, air guns will work right out of the box, they'll shoot straight and they'll last for many decades with proper care. Also remember that modifying your air guns will not only void the warranty, it can be downright dangerous. If you try to modify the trigger or mess with the power, you can cause a real safety hazard. You're better off letting the pros do it for you. By far the easiest air gun mod to do yourself is to get a custom stock or pistol grip. It not only improves performance, but it also looks great. A master stock maker will size a piece of lumber for your length of pull and also for your hand size. Now, in the field or on the bench, it can make all the difference. I have some beautiful samples of custom air gun stocks right here, courtesy of our friend James Linthicum of QualityGunStocks.com. James is an absolute whiz with wood, and he's created three beautiful samples for us, and they all fit the Benjamin Discovery Air Rifle. Just one screw to take the action out and put it inside these beauties, it's going to transform it into a work of art. Here, let's show you. Our first stock here is a gorgeous black walnut sample. It's got amazing tiger stripes on it. The television does not do this justice. It also has an ebony tip on the forestock there and an ebony cap 
on the grip. Just a gorgeous example of his work. Next is another walnut stock. This one is very simple, very elegant. It's got beautiful, beautiful details in the wood. I happen to like this one a lot. And finally, something very unusual. This is a thumb hole laminate style. Gorgeous dyeing on the wood, black charcoal color, and that bright orange. Just a beautiful example of laminated wood. As a matter of fact, let's take the action out of the discovery and put it in this stock. That's very easily done. First thing, you gotta make sure your gun is not loaded. Just gonna pull back the cocking bolt there. Of course, it's not loaded. I checked it earlier. And I'm gonna take a small probe tool. Go ahead and lift up the small spring that holds the cross bolt safety in. There it is. You have to take this out before you can remove the action. Next step, Phillips head screwdriver. It's actually the last step too. And now the stock will pull right off. Here we have our action. Now if I know my master stock makers, this thing's gonna fit like a glove. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. The inletting is perfect. Also the hole for the pressure gauge is perfectly located. Now all I have to do is take this bolt that James provided me, my Allen wrench, tighten that down just enough, then go ahead and put my safety back in. That's just a matter of lifting up that small spring once again with my probe tool sneak my safety back in, that's it. Make sure it functions properly, it's on safe, and there we have it. Oof, this is gorgeous. Look at that. Fits me perfectly. I have about a 13 and a half, 14 inch length of pull. Perfect fit for my hand. Once I get a scope on this, I'm not gonna wanna put this thing down. Now when we come back, I'm gonna show you a custom stainless steel air pistol that would have made Buck Rogers jealous. Folks, when you handle and shoot guns as much as we do on American Air Gunner, they can become routine, but no matter how much you handle and shoot guns, safety must always come first. The same basic safety rules apply to all guns, and that includes air guns. Many air guns shoot fast enough to be fatal. Yes, even CO2 air guns, like this Beretta 92FS. So engage your brain, think about where the muzzle is pointed before you even pick it up. Most accidents can be avoided if you keep that muzzle pointed in a direction that won't harm anyone or anything should it accidentally be fired. And please remember folks, under no circumstances should you ever point an air gun at a person. You know, we have a motto around here and that is shoot safe and have fun. Hi there folks, we're back. If you missed the last segment, we've been talking about custom air gun parts. And where we last left off, I put the Benjamin Discovery action inside of our new custom laminated thumb hole stock. This comes to us courtesy of a fellow named James Linthicum of QualityGunStocks.com. This is just a superb example of custom work. I went ahead and mounted a SWAT style scope on this. It's a little mini SWAT style scope. And I think it fits perfect on this rifle. Now some of the improvements over the factory stock, James went ahead and raised the comb for me and that gives me a fantastic cheek weld as opposed to a chin weld that the factory stock was giving me. So he's very much improved the, uh, the feel of the stock and also the performance of it. Now, the reason we're back is I wanna show you this beauty right here. This is a highly customized Crossman 2240 CO2 pistol. This is fantastic for shooting targets and it's great for eliminating small pests. Over the factory parts, 
we now have these beautiful stainless steel parts. And that comes to us from a fellow named Don Cothran, and he's been making uh, machined parts for about 26 years now. He's just getting into doing custom parts for Crossman air guns. And as you can see here, his work is superb. These are exact fit replacements for your factory parts. Here's the original body tube. And as you can see, this 304 stainless steel body tube is just gorgeous. We have a stainless steel breech, stainless steel cocking bolt. Now these custom parts aren't all just good looks. As a matter of fact, Don included for us here on the end cap an adjustable power screw. What this does is adjust the power on the hammer spring. More power means the valve is going to be open longer and we'll get more powerful shots. We'll get less shots per CO2 cartridge, but they'll be fantastically powerful shots. And you can unscrew it to get less powerful shots, but more shots per CO2 cartridge. Now the barrel is also custom made. This comes to us from a fellow named Darren Thatcher of PacificPelletGuns.com. This is a beautiful example of a custom barrel. I've tested it and it's given me dime sized groups at 10 meters shooting off of a bag. Darren also supplied us a custom barrel band that fits his barrel. You know all this talk about custom air rifles has given me a pretty good idea. When Crystal first joined us on the show, she kind of took a liking to the Benjamin Discovery air rifle. It's lightweight, it's superbly accurate, and very powerful. Now that we have this beautiful custom stock on it, I think we're going to present it to her. But she's got to earn it. She's got to outshoot me in a contest. I think what we'll do is we'll set up the air lodge with some targets down range and make her earn it. Let's go see how she does. American Air Gunner is sponsored by Pyramid Air. Air guns are not just for kids anymore. Umarex, your premium air gun supplier. And these fine sponsors. Crystal, we were contacted a few months ago by a craftsman who makes custom parts for air guns. And uh, he's a fan of the show. And he's seen you shoot the Benjamin Discovery before. Yes, <laughs> I love shooting with the Benjamin Discovery. You remember that episode where you shot against Mike Sporer? I do. <laughs> with the chicken, pig, turkey, ram, NRA mm -hmm. targets? And you outshot him. Yep. <laughs> and he was very impressed. So our craftsman went ahead and made something very special for the Benjamin Discovery. Okay. But he doesn't want us to just give it to you. <laughs> You've got to earn it. All right. All right. And so we have a little contest set up. But before we do that, let's open this up and show you what the prize is. Okay. Open that in there. Check that out. Wow. <laughs> this is the Benjamin Discovery Action inside of a custom made thumb hole laminate stock. It's Isn't gorgeous. that pretty? It is. It's gorgeous. Now, mm -hmm. he's seen the show before and he knows your length of pull is about 13 and a half inches, so he went ahead and did that. Length of pull is the distance between the butt pad and the trigger. Okay. And it should fit like a glove. Why don't you go ahead and try it on for size? All right. Ah. Fits perfect. You like that? <laughs> I love it. You like the thumb hole? Of course I do. <laughs> it's a nice pistol grip. Isn't it, it is. It's, it's really, really great. Hot. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. So I've got some targets set up down range and we're going to be shooting with this Benjamin Discovery with the factory stock on it. It's just plain Jane, but it's fine. Okay. But I'm going to shoot first, see how many targets I can knock down in 60 seconds, and then it's your turn. All right. And if you win, <laughs> you get to keep this and shoot it on the show whenever you want. Fine. No one else is going to touch it. <laughs> You're going to take care of it. Okay. It's going to be yours forever. Sounds good. All right, mm -hmm. let's get started. Okay, well, we got our Benjamin Discovery sighted in with H&N Barracuda Match Pellets. I'm going to get my gear on. You're going to be the timekeeper there, Crystal. All right. Put my hearing protection on here, too, because this is fairly loud indoors. This is a contest of speed and accuracy. You call it. And go. You got 30 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. 
Are uh, you gonna give me that one? <laughs> of course. All right, this is on safe. I didn't do too good there, did I? <laughs> you know, when the pressure's on, it's, I a, know. it's a lot different. Plus you have to get the pellets and everything in. Okay, Crystal, I'm getting my safety gear on here. All right, I'm all set. You set to go? I am. You got enough pellets over there? I think got, I do. You got about 40 <laughs> pellets. All right, I'll work the gizmo here. Tell me when. Okay, ready, set, go. Time is ticking, time's a wasting. That's one. That's two. Four more and you win. 30 seconds. Two more. One more. You've got 15 seconds. Oh boy. One more. You've got some time left. Can she do it? She got it. Got it. Awesome. <laughs> That was great. You know, you shot one and it knocked two over. Yeah. <laughs> that was fantastic. That was awesome. Well, I guess you get to keep that rifle. All well, right. folks, it's been a very, very exciting show. We're happy to have you for our second season of American Air Gunner. Until next time, my name is Paul Capello. And I'm Crystal Lackley. Shoot safe and have fun. Thanks, Paul. You got down seven.